Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video and this is probably going to be a real quick video because I just want to show you guys one more item real quick and I want to show you guys this because this is one of the other ones that you're going to be using it a lot and it has a lot of flexibility and the next tutorial that I'm going to make is going to be getting into multiple view applications. So again, I didn't want to skip over it. So yeah, that's my nice little intro segmented controls. Here we go. So to learn what they are, we might as well just look at one. So if you go type in seg, grab segmented control and just drop it anywhere right here. Now, what I actually do is I use one of these whenever I'm making like social networking apps and say that you have two settings whenever you make a, a post. One is private and say that you made a post that only you want your friends to see. You can set it as private. And if you set it as public, anyone in the world can see it. So, all right. So right now we can see that it's pretty much a toggle or a list of choices. Actually, what do they say? Segmented displays, multiple segments. All right. So it's pretty much a list of buttons, but you can use it as a toggle. And that brings me to another point. Even though right now it just looks like a little switch, you can also have multiple additional buttons on here. So if you wanted to have like um, five different buttons on here, you can. But for this example, I'm just going to show you guys a segmented control with two buttons or two options. And then once you guys know that, you will be able to learn the more advanced properties of it. So now that we have private and public, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add functionality to allow the user to click one of these and it's going to change this label as well. So this is actually pretty cool because we can change this label with the slider that we learned in the last video or the segmented control. So how do we do that? It's pretty easy. Let's go ahead and create another action. So control, drag, stick right there. And of course, this is an action. It's going to be called whenever the user clicks one of these segments. And I'll just name this toggle. Now for the type, I'm going to set this to UI segmented control and hit connect. Now, this is a thing that probably gets a lot of people. Now, of course, the sender refers to this object. This is the object that's going to call this method. Now, whenever you call it, it passes in the information of did they click this one or this one? Did they click private or public? Now that information, it's stored as an index. So remember, whenever you make arrays, just like everything else in computing, the first item always starts with zero. So private is zero, public is one. If you had another item, it would be two, three, four, and so on. So again, remember every item, in your segmented control has an index and they start with zero. So that's important right now because then we can add like an if statement to test if sender dot selected segment index and we could say equals equals zero. Well, what happens here? Let's just uh, change the label text. So I'm way too lazy to uh, type all that. So we can say, okay, if you passed it in and it has the value of zero, then we know it must be the first element, which is private. So we'll just type private. Now, right now, if we had multiple buttons, like four or five, we would need to test each of those individually. But now we can just write an else statement because if this method gets called and they didn't click the private, then that means they must have clicked the public to call it. So now we can just add another one to change the text to public. So now before I review this, let me go ahead and run it and make sure that it actually works. All right, so check this out. Of course, we can change the label in one of two ways, the slider, we already know, or we can click public, change it to public, private, public, slider, private, public, slider, do this all day. Pretty stinking awesome. So again, there you go. Pretty self-explanatory. Don't really need to explain it again. So uh, yeah, in the next tutorial, we're kind of done talking about basic items right now. I'm going to show you guys how to pretty much create a multiple view application. In other words, 
how to take our iOS development and add more screens to our app. It's going to be awesome. I'll see you then.